We now move into Pythagoras in three dimensions. And here I have a cuboid. And the question is asking to find the length AG. So we're looking for this length here. Now in order to find that length, what I'm looking for is a right angle triangle that I can use in order to find that length. And the right angle triangle I'm going to go for is this one here, triangle AGH. Now if I draw that triangle separately, I have the following. And you can see I've only got one length here, which is the four centimeters. In order to find AG, I do need this length and this length here, AH. And then I could use Pythagoras. So in order to find length AH, I need to look for another triangle, which is going to be this blue one here. So triangle AEH, which we can pop down here. Now AEH, we've got two known lengths, so we can actually find AH. So let's use Pythagoras on that. So we've got AH squared will be equal to 6 squared plus 2 squared. Now 6 squared, obviously 36, and 2 squared is 4, so that's equal to 40. So AH will be equal to the square root of 40. Now obviously I don't want to find the square root of 40 yet because I'm gonna to have to use this AH in this triangle here. So AH is the square root of 40. Now I've got this triangle, I can use Pythagoras again with AG. So I've got AG squared is going to be the square root of 40, which I'm going to square plus four squared. Now the square root of 40 squared, well that's just 40, and four squared is 16, so we get 56. So AG squared is 56, so AG is the square root of 56. And the square root of 56, well that is actually 7.5, so we've got 7.5 centimeters, and that is to one decimal place.